गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे अवर टॉपिक्स आर सस्पेंसन एंड कोलेडल सॉल्यूशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सस्पेंसन एंड कोलेडल सॉल्यूशन ओके लेट वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सस्पेंसन व्हाट इज सस्पेंसन नॉन होमोजीनियस सिस्टम लाइक दोज ऑप्टेन्ड बाय ग्रुप सी इन एक्टिविटी टू पॉइंट टू देखिए वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड दिस एक्टिविटी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एक्टिविटी टू पॉइंट टू इन शॉर्ट आई अगेन रिपीट दिस एक्टिविटी इन दिस एक्टिविटी दे आर फोर ग्रुप्स ग्रुप ए ग्रुप बी ग्रुप सी एंड ग्रुप डी ग्रुप ए को कॉपर सल्फेट सी यू एस ओ फोर मीन्स ग्रुप ए एंड बी दे बोथ आर प्रोवाइडेड विद कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन कॉपर सल्फेट एंड ग्रुप सी इज प्रोवाइडेड चौक चौक पाउडर और चौक एंड ग्रुप डी मिल्क इज प्रोवाइडेड एंड देन दीज फोर ग्रुप्स एड वट एवर दे आर गिवन इन दी वाटर ग्रुप ए एंड बी एड कॉपर सल्फेट इन वाटर एंड कॉपर सल्फेट इज कम्प्लीटली डिजॉल्व इन वाटर That's why group A and B they both have homogeneous solution, okay? And this is called true solution. Homogeneous solutions are called true solutions. But in group C and D, group C having chalk powder and mix the chalk powder in the water, and group D having milk. and mix the milk in water when group c mix chalk powder in water then he got heterogeneous mixture or you can say that non homogeneous system and this is what we called suspension mean in activity 2.2 group c got suspension or heterogeneous mixtures why because chalk is not dissolved in water and it can be filtrated easily okay now non homogeneous system like those obtained by group c in activity 2.2 in which solids are solids are dispersed in liquid means chalk dispersed in chalk powder dispersed in water chalk is solid and water is liquid chalk dissolve in liquid are called suspension why because it is a heterogeneous mixtures in which the solid particles do not dissolve but remain suspended throughout the bulk of the medium particles of a suspension are visible to the naked eye here is the dis- difference between the suspension and the colloid example milk milk particles you cannot see with the naked eyes okay that's why it is colored but it is a heterogeneous mix and suspension is also heterogeneous but its particles you can it can be visible matlab particles uh, are visible to the naked eyes okay then properties of a suspension first properties suspension is a heterogeneous mixture the first property is suspension is heterogeneous mixture okay it is heterogeneous mixture why because it is not mix in the water it does not dissolve in the water okay this is the first property of suspension you should remember this properties the second property is the particles of suspension can be seen with the naked eyes but the particles of colloidal and true solution we cannot see with the naked eyes third property is the third property the particles of suspension scatter a beam of light passing through it and make its path visible to yahan par aapko samajhna hoga what do you mean by scattering of light scattering means suppose this is a beaker and this beaker the, we have water and this water there are small particles of chalk 
these are chalk powder particles and this is h2o water okay when a beam of light suppose this is a torch when a beam of light pass through the the solution then this beam of light is scatter i is different color these these are the part light and this light is scatter this is called scattering of light scattering means when a parallel beams of light when a parallel beam of light passes through a gas or liquid a part of it appears in direction other than incident direction this is called scattering of light and suspension particles they can scatter beam of light now third is the solid particles settle down when a suspension is left undisturbed the solid particles settle down means the chalk particles or the chalk powders if you uh, place the uh, solution for some times then the chalk powder starts settle down at the bottom this is a suspension is unstable means when you add copper sulfate in water then it you will get stable solution because copper sulfate dissolve in water but the solid particles of suspension are settle down they are not dissolving properly it means this this a suspension is unstable they can be separated from the mixer by the process of filtration this is another property of suspension when the particles settle down suspension breaks and it does not scatter beam of light anymore why because suppose this is a beaker and these are the water particles and these are the suspension particle suppose these suspension particle settle down means these particle suspension particles settle down means when the light falls then the, the light goes straight because it is not scatter because the particles are at the bottom okay this is about the uh, suspension now our next topic is what is a colloidal solution the mixture obtained by group d group d mein kya tha milk is called a colloid because the particles of colloid are uniformly spread throughout solution due to the repeatedly smaller size of the particles as compared to that of suspension means uh, suspension suspension particles are larger than the colloidal solution colloidal particles the mixture appears to be homogeneous means when milk appear as a homogeneous milk appear as a homogeneous but it is not homogeneous it is heterogeneous why because of the small size of colloidal particles we cannot see them with the naked eye but they can scatter a beam of visible light in activity 2.2 this scattering of a beam of light is called tyndall effect after the name of the scientist who discovered this effect means who discovered the tyndall effect tyndall theek okay, hai on the basis of his name just we call it tyndall effect scattering of light tyndall effect dekho this is the example uh, this is milk and when torch light parallel beams fall then they change the direction means this is called scattering of light and why milk because milk particles are enough the size of the milk particles are enough to scatter the light so milk is heterogeneous mixture it looks homogeneous but it is heterogeneous if in exam 
it will be asked that uh, milk is homogeneous or heterogeneous you will write it is heterogeneous mixtures and it shows the Tinder effect this happened due to the scattering of light by the particles of dust and smoke in the air sorry Tyndall effect can also be observed when a fine beam of light enters a room आपने देखा होगा suppose this is your room and this is a hole and light coming through this hole then there are these small particles in your room like dust particles and they scatter the light and we can see this light this is called scattering of light means this happens due to the scattering of light by the particle of dust and smoke inside the room now Tyndall effect can also be observed when sunlight passes through the canopy canopy means canopy refer to the portion of the plant dekhi these are the plants okay and uh, above the ground the crown of the plant this is the crown of the plant or the branches of the plant they form the canopy okay when the sunlight fall this canopy then you will see the light so you can see this this is the light you can see the light because of scattering okay tindal effect can be observed when sunlight passes through the canopy of a dense forest in the forest mist contain tiny droplets of water and because of these droplets you see the path of light okay now properties of colloidal solution colloidal is a heterogeneous okay again i repeat uh, suspension and colloidal both suspension is a heterogeneous suspension suspension is also heterogeneous and colloidal is also heterogeneous the size of particles of colloidal is too small of to be individually seen by naked eye means the size of colloid particle is smaller than than the suspension particle ठीक and we can not uh, see with the naked eyes colloids uh, colloids are big enough to scatter light means scattering can be done uh, through colloid solution and suspension both they do not settle down but suspension particle set and settle down that's why the colloid is quite stable and suspension is unstable okay now they cannot be separated from the mixer by the process of filtration by the process of filtration we cannot separate the mixer but we can uh, separate this by the process of centrifugation like you have milk suppose uh, you have milk and these are the particles when you centrifuge after centrifugation the particles just float over the surface as aapne dekha hoga jab hum ghee wagaira nikalte hain okay the components of a colloidal solution are uh, the dispersed phase you should remember this thing uh, the component of colloidal solution like milk so milk is dissolved in water here water is a solvent and milk is a solute and you can say that it has dispersed phase dispersed phase means solute it act as a solute and dispersed medium it act as a solvent the components of a colloidal solution are dispersed phase and dispersed phase and dispersed medium the solute like component or the dispersed particle in a colloid form the dispersed phase and component in which the dispersed phase is suspended is known as dispersed medium colloids are classified according to the state solid liquid or gas of the dispersing medium uh, and dispersed phase a few common example are given in table 2.1 again i uh, make you understand this paragraph 
colloidal solution means there are two components solution always have two component first solvent and then other is solute here dispersed phase act like a solute and dispersed medium act like a solvent okay now we can uh, understand this by the table this is the table very this is very important table one or two question always asked from this table in the exam dispersed phase liquid and dispersed phase medium means dispersed phase gas in gas liquid are mixed in gas solid is mixed in liquid gas is mixed and in liquid liquid is mixed and liquid liquid what type of solution colloid solution this is emulsion and when gas mixed with the liquid this is foam aerosol liquid into gas aerosol solid into gas aerosols ठीक है solid into liquid or you can easily understand this this is solid solid point means solid into solid liquid into solid gas into solid and uh, here uh, these three are liquid solid into liquid liquid into liquid and gas into liquid but in this only two columns liquid into gas and solid into gas why it is not gas into gas why it is not gas into gas because this is not colloidal solution because gas into gas we obtain air and air is a homogeneous mixture so this is not in this table gas into gas why because gas into gas what kind of solution we are getting homogeneous solution and colloidal solution are colloidal solution are heterogeneous solution okay that's why uh, gas into gas is not there okay you have to learn this table this very important table now we discuss the three questions differentiate between homogeneous and heterogeneous we actually already uh, done this question again i repeat homogeneous mixtures uh uniformly mix heterogeneous mixer are not uniformly mix the particles are very small in case of homogeneous particles are very small but in case of heterogeneous particles are larger than the true solution homogeneous solution you cannot filtrate but heterogeneous solution you can either filtrate like just say uh, of course suspension you can filtrate but uh, colloidal solution you cannot filtrate okay now the next question is how are solution true solution colloidal solution and suspension different from each other to iska jo answer hai aapka this is about the uh, colloidal solution a colloid is a heterogeneous mixer the size of the particle you can write for this these are the points for these are the points for colloidal solution you can write and uh, these are the uh, points for suspension first point and remaining points are there these are the points for suspension and one such points uh, below this side okay and true solution is homogeneous mixers we completed this okay now the last question is to make saturated solution 36 g solute amount of solute amount of solute 36 g amount of solvent 100 g okay amount of solution 100 plus 36 136 now which formula you will find use to find the concentration uh, at this temperature mass by mass percentage means mass of solute mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100 to find the percentage mass of solute is 36 and mass of solution is 136 into 100 now you calculate this now you calculate this and you will get the answer now we have completed this topic and tomorrow 
or in the next video we will just start the topic separating the component of a mixer any doubt and any query you just comment in the comment box okay thank you